This antic text was passed to me a good few years ago now by a friend, Layla, who knew of my interest in such things. One evening in an alleyway in Camden, behind the restaurant she was then working at, next to the large kitchen bin, she came across a ram skull with involute horns, which was swagged with fruit and vegetable peelings, and looked, in Layla's words, like some pagan fetish. Threaded through the empty orbits was a strip of paper, almost like a length of ticker tape, on which, in a tiny meticulous hand, was written what seems an invocation of sorts. Of all the texts I've found, or been given, this one, though it suggests nothing directly uncanny, is perhaps the one that disturbs me most. Let it be a blood ape on the prowl and a stooping screech owl. Let it have a tapir's snout, a hagfish's grisly gape, a fox's mealy muzzle, a goat's breath and grizzled beard, a sea devil's lure, a vulture's rough and tonsure, a platypus's venomous spur, a lobster's claw, a badger's paw, give it a toad's throat sack, an armadillo's plated back, the mandibles of a stag beetle, a turkey's snood, carbuncle and wattle, a hog's bristles and wild eye, the bottle green sheen of a blowfly, and flesh soft, pallid like a grub's, give it a warthog's tusks, a narwhal's braided horn, and the tottering gait of a foal newborn. Let it have a rat's tail, a man of war's scourges, a goat's lustful urges, a cock like a ram's, a weasel's sneer, an echidna's spines. Let it whine like a hyena, whoop like a gibbon, yowl like a mandrake, growl like a bear. Let it live in air, in water, on land. Let it wait in the dark to gnaw out his pineal gland. <laughs>